yet again another month down here are all the games that i beat for april So the very first game that I beat was Battlefield Bad Company for the Xbox 360. I heard Budget tell me that this was a good game to try it, and I had no expectations because never really played a Battlefield game. More Tom Clancy, I am more about Call of Duty, and I always passed up on Battlefield. I know, I know, I'm sorry. But this was really funny. It's basically a group of people that did so horrible in their other companies they're dumped on this one. <laughs> you have to mess up really bad to be put in this company. So you get a band of misfits together and you have to see where the story goes. There's a bad guy. You have to find out where the bad guy is, stop him, and then either deliver him or find gold or whatever you want to do. But it's a hilarious story and really, and really worth your time if you have Game Pass. So definitely try it out. After Battlefield, I played Skate 3. I had a comfort game. Sorry, Peter. You gotta play your comfort games. So, I was talking about this, and I saw Peter talk about it on his video, and I said, you know what, I want to play it again. So, there really is no ending ending. It's just, you don't see credits, you see milestones. And once you beat all the milestones, you beat the game. You get a line of professional skateboarders who are, like, so excited to see you, what you're gonna do at this event. And that's your ending, so... For those who have always questioned, because even I questioned it back when I first beat it, when it first was out, I was like, hmm, where's the ending? Like, I, I had beat every single mission. I'm like, where's the ending? What do I have to do next? Am I missing something? Like, I skated around for a while. I thought there was, like, a hidden mission. And then when I found out, I was, like, irritated. I was like, I could have been done with this game a long time ago. Oh, well. The third game that I beat was Bully. I started this on the channel and I worked through, got through about maybe a couple hours into the game and I stopped and then I decided to keep going, play it all the way through again because I like the story. It's a good story. Um, I still haven't 100%ed. There is, I think it's a biology class where you have to dissect frogs and stuff like that. The only thing that's stopping me from getting the platinum or achievement finishes and stuff like that. Well, we'll see if I can get that, but that's literally all I'm missing. And then find some rubber bands and we're done. For the fourth game, I had been looking through Game Pass and I saw this game called The Artful Escape. I was like, what is that? It literally didn't make any sense to me, but it, it is cool. It's pretty much, it's a kid who his uncle had passed away and they all want to, you know, mutually benefit from the passing by getting the nephew to, who is a musician also, to play his uncle's old songs and keep milking it for as long as they can. And the kid's like, I don't want to keep doing this, but I need the money and I want to be famous too. And so he's kind of like doubting himself, like, should I keep going? Should I play what I want to play? And so you see through like the story progressing, it takes a twist. I'm not going to ruin the twist, but it's a good game. I enjoyed it. I had a fun time with it. After our full escape, I played Telling Lies. It is a FMV game, full mo like motion capture. Basically, real actors and you watch a bunch of videos and you try to figure out the story through searching on a search bar. You're a woman just sitting in front of a computer and you... I They said that you have only so many hours before to find out the story. And I really never felt like I was like, oh my gosh, I need to hurry up. I just literally watched videos and, and then it triggered the next scene of like one hour down, two hours down. The game is literally five hours because it said five hours down. And then all of a sudden you heard like um, her freak out and run out to the front and to the top. And you can see like, I think she stole some videos from like the FBI or something. Because there was like some people with FBI jackets looking for the, like knocking on everyone. Because they knew that it was, the signal was kicking back to them. It's a good game. Um, I do recommend nobody stream it until you've actually played it because there is scenes that are sexual in nature and not good for YouTube. So you don't want to find out the hard way and yell damn and then your stream gets shut off. So definitely for sure play it. It's a fun game. It's kind of like uh, Night Trap where 
You're like, really? We're watching all this, but hey, it's, it's a good time. After Telling Lies, I played Taito Legends, and it is a collection just like the new one that's coming out for the Switch. It's basically, I played Space Gun. Um, for those who don't know, it's kind of like an alien shooter where you're on, kind of like aliens, you're on a spaceship and you're trying to find out what happened. And you have to go through and stop all the people who are on the ship from getting attacked. And it's really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, it's a rail shooter. You're basically not able to investigate. You kind of can go left or right, up and down, back forth, you know. But you have to choose. So you sometimes you might get a dead end and then it tells you to go back. So actually the game just went, psych, trolled you. You're going to have a harder time getting back. But I liked it. Definitely worth the playthrough. It's not very long, a uh, short game, but you know, you can challenge yourself and get it really close. And I, I got very few credits for this, so it's worth your time. Try it. And I know there's a bunch of other games on there. Um, I was playing through them and having a blast, so this was the only one I beat, but hey, I'll go back and try the other ones. So I decided to go through the Game Boy Advance list and Danny Phantom Urban Jungle was the next game on the list. It's a shooter and basically there's a little boy who's you just you're kind of like um Powerpuff Girls shooters where they're there and they're just shooting out like there's like an invisible gun. You shoot, you go through. They're very helpful with the life, so it's not that difficult of a shooter. Um, it's one of the shooters where you're like, wow, that's a lot of health they're giving you. And I and I definitely recommend going on like normal or hard for this game because I blazed through it on easy and I'm like, let me go to normal. So definitely try it on normal. You're not going to have a hard time with that. And I don't really get the story. Never really was into Danny Phantom. So from what I can gather, it's literally a, a kid who is kind of like Teen Titans is trying to stop some evil bad people that are monsters. I don't know, maybe Ben 10 from whatever. That's, that's all I can gather, so it's a shooter. Worth your time. The next game was also on um, Games with Gold. It's called Another Sight. I saw Freak of Four play this and kind of was easy to play now because I saw the puzzles being played, but I couldn't remember every puzzle, so I had to like take me a little bit of time. Basically, you're a teenager girl and a cat. And the cat can see everything, but the girl is blind, and I don't know why. I can't remember the story right now, but it's kind of like Daredevil, where you you hit or click or do something, and you'll like it'll like vibrate the sound, and then you can see little patches. And then if you tell the cat to meow, the cat will help you through, and you can figure out like what do I need to do here? Do I need to go here? Do I need to go there? And you're pretty much just going in a boat, getting to a certain part. Then you do the puzzle try to figure out how to get open the gate to then move to the next part and then you find out that there's literally some bad guys that are chasing you at the very end that was very stressful because you're trying to figure out how to get through without getting caught and it was like a stealth i hate stealth parts that was one of the my few favorite parts of the game but it was minor and it was not very long so i toughed through it i probably if it was longer i probably would have not kept playing but i beat it and i had a fun time Definitely worth it. It's super cheap right now to get, so find it, play it, and you will not be disappointed. The next game was called Genesis Noir. Um, it's kind of like Sin City, the movie, where everything is gray but one color. In Sin City, was everything was vibrant red. This one, everything is vibrant yellow. You are in a, a world that's black and white, and you're a detective or a very obsessed fan. I can't tell because there's no narration or any dialogue whatsoever. Basically, you see or hear about a famous singer being killed and you don't know who killed her, but you're trying to figure it out it's a murder mystery and you go through the world obsessed and you're trying to keep solving the puzzles and trying to figure out who did it. You think it's the boyfriend, the obsessed boyfriend who didn't like that she broke up with him but you don't know and you keep reliving, replaying what you think happened that night and you go through and there's puzzles so like there'd be like a star field, you have to go through the stars. It's kind of like a trippy game where you don't know if he's hallucinating or if he's drunk or if he passed out or what's happening or if it's a dream. 
because every time you go through another level, it's a little weird, like you're off by a little bit, you could tell. And then at the very end, there's a couple options you could choose um, to either stay in the trippy world or leave. And I don't know. Like, it, I, I like the game, but I could tell, like, it's not for everybody. It's a puzzle game, and I love puzzles, point-and-click games. So this one, it doesn't handhold you and you have to figure out what to do. So it's super easy. It's like, oh, really? I did that, and that's all you need to do. But I recommend it. Um, it's cheap even if you don't have Game Pass and try this one because you'll have fun. But I will say it's got a lot of strobing, flashing lights. So if you're photosensitive, don't play the game. The next game that I played was Battlefield Hardline. Um, never played it and I heard about it and I heard that it didn't sell well. <laughs> And I can see why. It's basically a cop game. Um, you are a new partner and you are trying to work your way through the world of like the cops and see all the dirty cops. And there's a lot of famous people like Kelly. Um, she was in a lot of shows that I was like, oh wow, it's her? Okay. And then Travis Willingham was in it. And so many actors and actresses. I was like, how did they get all these people? But hey, it's Battlefield. It sold well, I guess, for like two minutes and it dropped off. So I'm glad I found it on Game Pass. I would have probably passed it up and said no. So it's definitely worth a try. Um, I will say though, it's kind of got some cheesy acting. So don't take it seriously and you'll have fun with it. Next on the list was a PS2 game and that is Art of Fighting 3. The Path of the Warrior, and uh, it's a collection for an anthology for PlayStation 2. I was in a fighter kick, and whenever I'm in a fighter kick, I go over here and I look at all the fighters that I have not beaten, and I say, what do I want to play? And I was in an art of fighting mood, and I looked at all my art of fighting games that I had, and I looked and I went, oh yeah, I never beat the third game. I played through one and two. I was like, you know what, let me try the third game. I never tried it. And it's a little bit different than the first and second game. Um, there is act there is like actions that are the same. Like you'll see like a character and be like, oh yeah, he reminds me or she reminds me of that or of like the original and then you find out that they're a family member of whatever that person was from the first and second game and you're like, Oh, I got it now, okay, cool. So it's worth your time to try out the third one. It's more arcadey style, so like you're gonna you're gonna feel like it flows well if you ever played in the arcade, which sadly I never did because I only played one in the arcade for like a little bit because I think it was somewhere somebody had had it in there, and and then I played it for the Super Nintendo. But I'm always about art of fighting. I enjoy it. It's not for everybody because there's an option where you can steal energy, and a lot of people hate that because you just hit a button. And it does leave you open to being hit, but if you do it right, you can suck all the energy out and they can't do finishing moves. But I liked it, I enjoyed it, and definitely a good addition to the art of fighting. After that, I played Happy Home Paradise. Um, it was on the DLC, and it's pretty much like Happy Home Designer. But I can say they did a really good job, and it's replayable. Thank you, Nintendo. For those who don't know, Happy Home Designer is not replayable. You have to literally just delete everything and start again. But this one, you can go back and say you started a house that was the very first one and it was a tiny little house because you didn't have a, you know the options at that time to fix things and make it different. You can go in, fix everything, and make it better. So you can, a one-story house, you can make it two stories, you can add roommates, you can literally fill up the whole island uh, you stop at 30 houses, so I think you can add more and go on, but you have to pay. And the one cute thing I love is when you are playing and you earn money, it's an exchange. You like, you get, um, instead of, it's called Pocky or something like that. Um, instead of bells, you exchange it for that. So you have an exchange machine. And again, this exchange is not 100 to 100. It's like, whatever the rate is, and it changes. So <laughs> one part of the year, you could be like, oh, I should have traded all my, my money <laughs> and get bells. But it's an easy way to make money. It's not that hard, and it's pretty fun. And you can get old villagers if you have your Amiibo cards and just get them. So if you don't like the villagers they give you, 
go to your amiibo cards or your amiibos and look through what you have. And you can actually do NPCs as well. So like if you want to do a home for, you know, even Tom, you can give him a vacation home. I don't know how many people would do that, but hey, maybe he won't break your knees. You'll save your kneecaps. Do that. <laughs> I don't know. But um, still playing to this day. I'm still playing uh, Animal Crossing and I'm thankful that they gave you another option to keep it going. I just need to finish Red's art and then I'm done with all the collectibles except for the Gyromites, but I'm probably going to be on that for a while. And the very last game that I beat was Streets of Rage 4. It was okay. I didn't like the art style, but the story was pretty good. And that's Elvis, if you can hear him in the background. He's sleeping. <laughs> but basically, it's a fighter, a beat-em-up. And just like the other games, you are trying to get through everything. It's very difficult. Uh, the last guy, girl, uh, I think it's a brother-sister duo, if I remember correctly. They had so many different forms that I kept going, oh, I'm done. Oh, crap. I... So I had to like get better at the minions at the very beginning of the level to work my way through. And that took me a little bit of time, but I figured it out and I got it done. But definitely practice with that one. It took me a while, but I was happy. I enjoyed it. Definitely try it. I think it's probably already left Game Pass. Um, I don't know because they said it was going to go. and Because I had that downloaded to my Xbox and then I found out that they were going to get rid of it. So I bumped it up to get it done first before a couple other games because... I do that in the past where if there's a game that I'm like, oh crap, they're, they're going to take this out. Let me throw it in there. I, I do that. So if you see me play a game and I'm like, oh yeah, that was the game before that. I've been doing that lately. So that was a wrap, everybody. I beat 13 games total. So my now at 53. So thank you for watching. If you are keeping track of your games... Let me know in the comments down below how many games did you beat and we can all go damn that was a lot of games <laughs> i know there's a couple people that are ahead of me that are either close or ahead of me and we are neck and neck to seeing who's gonna get to the first hundred i think i keep i know a couple people are going trying to beat 100 so we'll see how i do and I'm going to keep Game Pass, so thank you for watching. If you are new, hit the sub button. It does help out the channel. Give it a like, because the last couple streams YouTube blocked. So I'm trying to get my algorithm back up because of, I don't know why they keep saying that it's kids. So hell, 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 damn, damn, damn. Throw it in the comment section, a damn and a hell for me that'll help me out with the algorithm. So they don't see that there's a bunch of kids, because I know my kid audience is very small. But I, I appreciate you guys, so that's why I don't drop F-bombs. So, catch you next video. Bye, everybody. Have a good one. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games too.